Hi, welcome to Selenium uh, tutorials. Okay, so in this uh, video, you are going to learn Selenium web driver architecture design, how they have designed this architecture, and how your Selenium web driver works actually. So, in this uh, lesson, video tutorials, you will learn drawbacks of uh, Selenium RC. Why Selenium web driver is introduced? So, what is the use of uh, Selenium web driver? And uh, we will discuss about Selenium architecture, web driver architecture. How Selenium web driver works on different different drivers: Firefox drivers, Internet Explorer drivers, Chrome drivers, okay, Opera, HTML, Unit drivers, and Android driver drivers and iOS drivers. So these are the drivers uh, supported by Selenium web driver. Other than these drivers, so many drivers are supported. So presently Selenium uh, web driver version is 3.0.1 beta version which is uh, released. So actually they have uh, given some changes in uh, 3.0.1 version. So before that, uh, before versions, uh, before three versions, we are used to execute our uh, test scripts on Firefox driver, Firefox browser so where we are using a Firefox uh, driver method and uh, directly we are executing our uh, test scripts, uh, Selenium test scripts to the on driver. So presently Selenium 3.0 is released, they have modified. So with uh, Firefox driver, uh, Firefox browser, if you want to run your uh, test scripts in uh, Firefox browser you need to use Jeco driver so which is available in uh, github and uh, same like uh, IA driver chrome driver opera drivers so with this driver your chrome browser will open opera browser will open internet explorer browser will open so these are the changes are releasing day by day if you go through selenium uh, hq.org site so i will show you what are the changes actually and uh, we will uh, dive into selenium architecture if you see in selenium hq.org see in this uh, website this is why selenium selenium automates browsers so what you do with that power center up to you okay so selenium, selenium web drivers and selenium ide okay so coming to download uh, if you check with the selenium client and web driver language bindings here you will see the versions okay these are the versions language version see 3.0.1 beta version and uh, they have a change log java docs and uh, C sharp is coming to 3.0.0, Ruby is 3.0.0, Selenium 3.0.0, 3.0. Okay, so like this, see RC NU JET latest release web driver. Okay, so driver, Safari drivers also there. So the Mozilla Jeco driver. So if you want to run your Firefox driver, you need to install Jeco driver. Google Chrome, Opera, Ghost driver, Phantom JS. Microsoft Edge driver it is given okay, Safari given Windows phones Windows phones Selenium Android for Selenium Android iOS drivers APM it is a server using for Android applications to automate okay, Qt HTML unit drivers see these are the language they are supported so many so these are the day by day changes uh, it is happening in Selenium please go through these sites every day or uh, some uh, weekly one so that you will get a more knowledge so what are the changes they are releasing actually okay coming to my topic uh, selenium web driver architecture so why actually selenium web driver is introduced so why not we are going for selenium rc <coughs> sorry see selenium rc remote controllers okay selenium remote control which is a selenium 1.0 version okay selenium rc so how it will interact with the browser means when you start executing your test script which is in java or php or c shop or javascript which whatever the language you have used then when you start executing your test script directly it will call to the server 
which is a remote control cell in a march remote control it will directly call to that proxy server immediately this commands will sending to proxy server then proxy server what it is uh, doing it will take the commands from the language bindings it is reading the all the commands so whenever commands are reading from the proxy server so which will uh, default is 444444 port number or 00555 some port numbers then automatically it will re receive the commands from the language bindings then it will read those commands and it will execute in browser so which browser it will execute means selenium rc works with javascript injection so each browsers having different different javascripts okay so if i come into internet explorer it is having javascript like uh, uh, javascript uh, development so why because what it javascript will do means it will identify the web elements what are the web pages you are opening in a browser this particular javascript will identify that particular web pages elements in the form of element then only you can you are able to see the web page which is available on browser so what will happen chrome browser first of all server selenium rc it will interact with javascript it will check whether javascript is installed javascript is code is written or not when the javascript code is written it will then verify that script and it will send that commands to the browser then it will execute your script okay here we are having some problems why because so while identifying the web element in selenium rc it will take time to identify web elements why because selenium rc using works on javascript injection so different different browsers are working with the different different javascript so identifying the javascript same as javascript it will identify and it will modify then uh, then identify the web element so it is taking some time so is sir selenium rc is directly not interacting with browsers it is interacting with selenium rc when the server stand alone server is down then your script will be automatically fails so because of this javascript injection it will taking time to identify the web element second point selenium rc identify the web elements based on javascript in different browser this one i have discussed in ie browser sorry in ie browser javascript injection is removed completely they have removed so selenium rc will not work on uh, internet explorer so that's why this is one major drawback and most of the different browsers has different javascript to work with already web page elements you don't have to identify so these are the problems facing in selenium rc so in order to overcome these problems in selenium rc remote controller selenium hq org team introduced selenium web driver which is a selenium 2.0 version okay in order to overcome these all problems they have introduced selenium web driver which is a selenium 2.0 okay let's go for architecture so selenium web driver architecture this is so first of all we are having languages server drivers drivers means we have discussed firefox drivers means firefox will run one which uh, driver using jaco driver chrome browser will run on using chrome driver internet explorer browser will open on internet explorer driver okay <coughs> safari will open <coughs> on uh, safari browser okay so these are the drivers which is available on uh, selenium web driver and okay coming to languages selenium web drivers uh, supporting different different languages java php c sharp uh, perl okay and uh, javascript and uh, vb i think uh, not okay so these are languages whenever the here see server it is server it is a server here third one is second middle one is a server which is a json api which is a json api it is called a one interface this is not a proxy server this is a one interface interface what it will do in the form of rest api api means some collection of api means rest rest service json means rest service what it will do it will work very fastly so whenever you have written your test scripts selenium script in java php or c sharp or javascript per languages then that languages when you start executing your test scripts it will directly send commands to the server 
first of all it will send the server means json api which is a json api which is in interface rest api interface whenever you are sending these commands to those server it will take the commands from the language bindings these are the language bindings okay when it is reading the commands and it is directly interacting with browser so it is directly interacting with that browser through which the help of remote remote web driver browser through the remote web driver it is directly interacting with the browser so here uh, like selenium rc you don't require any proxy server which is having uh, here selenium web driver having server which is a json rest api which is interacting with browsers directly and it is very fast in identifying the web elements say uh, like uh, in selenium rc it will take time web servers it will check if the server is running then only it will take the commands from the language bindings and then it will sending to the javascript identifying javascript is installed or not so here in web driver it is directly interacting with the browsers okay whenever you are sending the commands to the browser means drivers as per drivers sending the commands from the rest api to the drivers it will execute the test script as per the your written uh, test scripts okay when the commands executed successfully or failed it will return sending to the rest api which is in the form of response okay which is in the form of response see here see so selenium supports different language whatever language you are using okay so which is a uh, sending the commands across the selenium server that is a internet uh, api interface and sending requested commands from language binding to different drivers okay drivers means firefox browser chrome drivers like this so drivers are receiving the commands from server directly and performing the actions on different browsers as per different commands using a remote web driver here we are using remote web driver okay for executing your commands in the form of ui in the form of ui web ui it is displaying your all the test execution so that you can see whatever the execution it is happening perfectly okay so when the execution is happening it is the, once a commands execution is completed it is sending the response to the json api it is sending the response to the json api in the form of http request json api is a http html request okay from that it is sending the response to the language bindings and it is verifying the language bindings are verifying those commands and displaying in the form of uh, text in eclipse console if you are using eclipse it will display in the console what are the results you are seeing everything displaying in the console like this console it will display everything test runs okay failures test runs failure skips time taken everything everything it will display in the form of console with the help of results failed test summary everything test engine passed one failed zero okay, everything it is displaying in the console with the help of remote web driver it is running through remote web driver okay it will return the response to ip server and ip server so console pass and fail so which is uh, you know selenium web driver introduced to one more uh, driver html unit driver see this html unit driver which is uh, using for executing with test script same as uh, chrome driver firefox driver like uh, jco driver i internet explorer so coming to what is the difference between unit html unit driver and uh, other browser other drivers so in html unit drivers you are not able to see front end execution you are not able to see front end execution which is which is happening on the browser actually suppose if you are opening chrome chrome browser internet explorer firefox uh, browser it is displaying every each and every actions like username enter username enter password click on login then user my account page will display but whenever you are using html unit driver okay at that time html unit driver will execute your script okay on the back end you will not able to see any test execution in the form of web ui in html unit driver what will happen means when you are start executing your languages uh, test scripts then it will automatically execute in the back end it will run everything 
so in this whenever you are using html unit driver you are not able to see what is happening actually what is happening on the actual on the web why because it is not a browser it will not having any ui part to execute your actions so that's why most of the people are using these drivers instead of html unit driver some unit driver you can use for back end process like uh, file processing so run your uh, schedulers from back end and uh, you are using for uh, database testing from back end it will happen so and uh, you can uh, check for uh, sms uh, trigger or not from uh, log server logs and you can verify the errors messages uh, from back end in the server logs in the form of server logs and uh, you can use html unit drivers uh, for checking uh, sms uh, otp or not in the form of uh, server logs or database so that automatically it will uh, fetch the data from the database and it will enter into the fields what are the fields it is having or if you want to verify simple otp send or not it is uh, useful for html drivers at that time okay so this is an actual uh, difference between html unit drivers and uh, remaining drivers firefox chrome safari drivers so this is a selenium web driver architecture we have learned here this is a very simple architecture compared to selenium rt and compared to selenium web driver architecture okay so so do you have any questions uh, regarding on the selenium web driver architecture please uh, message me or comment me in the form of uh, comments below this video so that i can uh, provide your answers uh, as per your questions okay please uh, subscribe my videos so for upcoming uh, videos uh, you will get a notification so if i am uploading any new videos please subscribe to my channel uh, so that you will get a uh, more knowledge i am here to help you through the codes i am started from uh, selenium introduction previously so which is uh, introduced to selenium ide selenium rc selenium uh, web drivers and selenium grid so in upcoming lessons uh, you will learn uh, more real time examples with uh, my youtube channel quality assurance so i am giving a 100% assurance that you will get a more knowledge on selenium compared to any other uh, tutorials or in you don't need to go for any other institutes to learn this so why because you need more practice and take one application and practice that one okay if you have a question so please uh, message uh, please comment me here please provide your comments and suggestions on this video thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and like provide your like if you like this video okay thank you